wanted to show you how to do a pattern, not like the last one, but like this one. And it's not hard also, but it might take some time, and you might need to copy down some features if you want to keep on doing this stuff. Anyway, new two three nine two three, or you could just go to six one four B and just use a new pattern maker. Um, okay, so after that, you go to your color, and then you select the color that you want. I'm gonna go with green now, and um, I'm just gonna go with green. Yeah. Okay, so I've got green and um, go to your gradient tool and which is also your blend tool and then just stroke down there. Then you go to your white color by just clicking here and then switch it and um Okay, so after that, you. Sorry about that pause. Um, so after going to your brush tool, you go to um make sure your color is white, and then you could just um draw a sir, swirl, just a swirl, swirl. Um. That will do. It doesn't really have to be perfect at all. And then you go your filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur by 40. And then you go to your filters, distort, swirl, and pinch. Um, copy down this. It's your whirl angle must be 720. Your pinch amount must be 0 0.500, and your radius must be one, which is obviously there before. So just like okay, if you're done writing that down, you just pause this video and just write it down. So it distorts again, waves, and then you go to your amplitude must be 75, your phase is 140, and your wavelength is 45. You can pause this video to copy this down if you want. But right now, it's gonna be a waste of time if I just wait. So okay, and it'll be like that. So that's how you do it. Wanna add another feature? Fine. Now we go to filters, and then you go render clouds difference, and then you just click OK, and then you go to your layer, two, and then you go your layers mode, switch it to saturation. Let's go all the way down, go all the way down to saturation. Um, saturation. Well, I don't really like saturation, but this is fine. Anyway, so that's how you um, make another pattern that is like a raindrop. And I go to File, Save As, and some patterns are ready. Just go to your user, user, the library, application support, Kim patterns. If you're on Mac, Windows, uh, I'm not going to be sure about that. Anyway, so see so you're in a patterns folder, you can, and then you can just type anything. You can green, green, dot, dot p a t, must be p a t, and then you just um, I okay, p n okay, uh, I'm ready. And then save, just refresh your patterns and then just look for it. Yeah, it's right there. And then you just create a new one to test if it works because sometimes it misbehaves. Okay, well, sorry. Sorry, sorry about that. Not that kind of way. Just test it on some time, some type of text. And then just, um, a or anything, anything at all. Um, my black color. And then just drag it up. Hmm. 
oops sorry um um pattern fill and select none okay so that works so thank you for watching this tutorial more pattern tutorial coming soon but practice on your first tutorial or the first tutorial and the second one thank you for watching and goodbye